he has all kinds of shit to do. And he's got some beer to drink as well. A couple of kegs have probably got his name written on them somewhere. Okay, so... Do you accept a personal side quest? You're the only person who can do it. Depends on the side quest, does it? Does it give EXP? Does it give EXP and rewards? Epic loot? It will give you reward. Oh, Can you see to... what I sent you in roll twenty? Hold up. I have secrets. Okay, can you actually read Secret that out? Because I'm interested. If you don't want to read it out, you can PM to it if it's got something to do with me. Yes, like that. I'll PM it to check it. Out. Okay. I hate secrets, so... <laughs> well, you're going to check on Donkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not mandatory if he wants. Okay, so he just says that to you, Hennessy. You feel a you, you feel like you see a small exclamation point appearing above Alexander's <laughs> head. <laughs> Is it yellow or blue? It's blue. Oh, sorry, it's not important. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd probably uh, listen to his request and uh, uh, say, I'll see what I can do, but no promises. No promises. And the exclamation mark turns into a question mark. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, um, Volek, well, you go check on your donkey. You can find, um, you can find donkey that he's alive and well, eating a lot of carrots. Um, happy to see you. Makes your whole face and makes donkey sounds. Uh, the, the human, uh, that you guys saved from the, uh, Drider prison is, uh, playing around with some elven children. They're on the stables. Um, I, I'd ask him how he is. Hey! Uh, Varrak, yes, I'm, I'm great. It's, it's, it's been great to eat real food and... not have your blood sucked out by real giant spiders. Every real night. food? Where's the real food? Uh, they ain't giving you real food? Racist elves towards dwarfs. Yes, I mean, I've never had better food, to be honest. I have really no problem without there being no meat. Mm, not real food. Next, uh, you're gonna be t next you're going to be telling me they've served you real alcohol in a wine bottle as well. You're telling me you do not enjoy the wine? The wine is magnific magnificent. Ah, it's the best I... drink I've had it... in months. Well, you've been trapped up in a cave. That's probably that probably explains a lot of things. Wait, yes. wait until we wait until we get to the dwarven part of town, and uh, we'll give you get you some real drink and some real food. To be honest, I've never been a man of dwarf spirits. Well, I'm a whole bundle He's of dwarf spirits. So. He laughs and says, "What's been happening? I've heard uh, strange rumors. Are you okay? Is everybody yes. else okay?" Every, every, everybody's fine. Um, oh, that's a burden out of my heart. The, the dragons are all dead though, so you know, they're not okay. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. And he smiles warmly. It says, So what was that shriek? I, bar I, I barely managed to get the children not to scream and run away. It's it was just crazy elf business. I, I don't particularly understand it myself, but... We're pretty much safe here, that's all all I'm certain of. Good. Good, I'm happy to hear that. Thank you, Volwak. You did really come through for a lot of people, you know? Well, you know, maybe. Mm. He smiles and pats you on the back uh, heartedly and says, Children, this is, uh, this is Volwak. A very powerful and... Uh, a dwarven hero. 
This is the stuff you will be reading in your books soon enough, the stuff you will be reading to your children. And he smiles on me and all the children kind of gather around you and target your point at your hammer and at your shield and at your armor and they're like very fascinated by your uh, equipment and yeah. say what master Varak master Varak tell us tell us a story tell us a story um I bring the donkeys over and um I put I put the hemisphere down and um tell them what the hemisphere is and tell them about Moradin uh, the Dwarven God, and I don't disrespect the elves in the process of it as, as much as it would tempt him to, but these are only little elves, and um, and then just tell basically just tell them the story of all the different heads on the donkey. They seem to be uh, happy at this, and uh, even just after you kind pick of them finish, up and put them yeah. on the donkey, and just, you, if this take hours and hours, then that's, that's completely fine. He doesn't. Mind. Yeah takes hours and hours and after that you see like the children taking turns to I'll be Varwak and and I'll be the rogue and I'll be the Hydra and and they kind of like um, reenact your fights with as much uh, detail as they can with wooden swords and shields and then for, for, com for comedy effect halfway through each enactment I, I put my cape over the top of everybody but Varwak <laughs> and um, explained that this is what it was like when our maid started helping. <laughs> <laughs> and, right. so, and so the joke continues down into the next generation of elves. <laughs> okay, good. That's been an interesting way to spend the rest of your day. Uh, Hennessy, what's happening with you, mate? Um, well, there's two things I'll probably uh, look into doing. Uh, the first is finding the item the mage uh, wanted. I'd try to see if I could locate one. Well, you can try and uh, in the marketplace, most where the jewelers are. Yep, I was thinking I'd go there and try it. Okay, yeah, there's a there's a pretty pretty good jeweler here. Um, you can you can find what he's requesting easily enough. Yes. Alright, then I'll uh, go purchase it. <laughs> the elf warmly greets you in your shop, in his shop, and says, Welcome, welcome, Master Halfling. I've, uh, I've seen very few of you in the uh, past decades. It is um, it's an honor to have you in my shop. Well, just so that we're in, on the safe terms, here are my hands. See them? <laughs> right don't there. worry about it. I know, I know who you are. It's... <laughs> Word travels fast between Pedro's, and he opens up his cart uh, and shows you his wares. Uh. See how big it is first in your assessment. Alexander, you're not there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of Alexander booms in the back of your head. Jack, how big it is. So, Hennessy, what's happening here? I will peruse the wares and uh, ex examine them with a studied he has, eye. Um, he has a couple of uh, wings, he says, uh, are magical. There's no real way of finding out. Um, he has an assortment of gold jewelry, even some platinum pieces, um, pearls, emeralds, a couple of fire gems. He asks you if you're interested in something particular. Ah, uh, yes, actually, I am interested in something particular. I'm looking for a uh, gem, actually. Gem? You know, yeah. What's, what's, um, what type? No, no, uh, what the fuck are you up to, Nick? <laughs> uh, I, I'm looking for a black onyx gem. Oh, oh no, one. what the fuck are you up to, Nick? Black onyx, um, let me check. Yes, yes, I do have um, one such specimen. Um, I've gotten it in the hills of Memoria. Yeah, a very far away place uh, from people that are 
miners as a profession not not a not a very common gem no I'd imagine not most gems are uncommon which is why they're so precious I will I will give it to you for 300 gold I think that is a fair price I'd uh, actually do an appraise to see how much the gem would work okay, is actually worth. Do me an appraise. Oh, huh. He seems to be a bit uh, like insulted by your appraisal, but he takes it without saying anything, and he says, "Well, oh, I satisfied." Wasn't actually, I wasn't actually going to tell him what it was I was just going to see what I thought it was yeah but still appraising doesn't just look at it oh no you just you inspect it it's the action of appraising itself is an action that is more than just sure. staring at something so he says well um, happy oh quite happy I, I'm sorry I just like to inspect things for myself bad habit when uh, you have dealings with my kind, I suppose. But again, your appraisal doesn't, you, you don't know you actually failed, so um, you, you think the gem is worth a lot more than he's asking. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm actually going to uh, pay the 300. <laughs> okay, so you pay the 300, he seems to be very happy with that, and uh, he says, anything more you You'd like for from my humble uh, shop, sir? Yeah, um, I've actually got a bit of a more um, how do you say it? Uh, Non-material uh, inquiry that I, I'd be I'd love to uh, spe spend some coin on. Yes, yes. What what should that be? Um, it's a two-part inquiry. I'd let, I'll give you like 10 gold if you can tell me one. Where's the best place to find a nice elven woman for the night who, uh, not purchasable, but you know, woo them and that sort of stuff. And two, what's the best method? He, uh, he declines your um, money and says, <laughs> well, you know that um, elven women are take delights in the pleasures of life to put it like that I from what I've heard and what has happened I'm guessing a feast is in order for you and your friends if you just uh, show yourself interested and think you have more than you can ever handle uh, master halfling I don't know you know my kind we like to play with our hands <laughs> he laughs. Just do not be res disrespectful. That is the best method. Pay respect yeah. to the woman you enjoy um, your or your uh, eyes lie upon, and I'm sure that uh, if she is not taken, she will uh, share your interest. And he smiles. He he's grin widens well thanks for the tip and are you sure you don't want some of this gold I mean I did no, don't worry about it it's, it's as I said I've heard I've heard what you've done and at, as a thanks I can at least offer you um, advice on how our culture works lovely I shall indulge then I too love to celebrate the joys of life. See you later, Master Halfling. Indeed! Okay, uh, and this time, Alexander, uh, do you want to do anything specific? Wait. Okay. Happy and your... may the rest, of course, to double up. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you asked, you have up. Uh, everybody can owe me HP, actually. I already did. And 1d4 plus 3 up above. Oh yeah, 7. Okay. 
Good. Everybody will do HP. My con. Four. Okay, that's a uh, just slightly below the average roll. Uh, that isn't that bad. Okay. Raw. Ah, one. That, that's not nice. Well, you still have a lot of HP. Okay, so that's your level nine, guys. Level nine. That's a that's a high level. Cool abilities come with that. Anything interesting you want to share with us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, un un no. Un no. Okay, good. Um, There's no interesting fifth level maneuvers at all. At all, yeah. I I, I can't possibly choose to strike something and make it become shaken. No, of course you can. Or, or, or do 4d6 damage with 4, 8, uh, plus 8 to attack and uh, gain 5 on saves and AC. That's all one move, that. Or deal 5, 6d6 damage against evil foes and gain damage reduction of 10. <laughs> oh. just, there's just not much There's just not much at this level. Oh, not I can, much. I, I can't, I, or I can't put myself into a stance that makes me deal damage as if I'm one size category larger, uh, and then okay, get the, you can and stop then, then gain the, gain the ability to trample fours. Uh, no, no you cannot prepare spells, Alexander, because it takes you your full four uh, eight hours of sleep. No, no, I'm still yeah. asleep eight hours after I rest. H hasn't he already been asleep eight hours technically? No, no, technically it's it's unconscious. <laughs> uh, it doesn't count as rest actually. So it does not need you to be asleep, just not intense action. Uh, I'm gonna no, say I that think I'm you are being unconscious to... doesn't work. No, I mean now. If I I, I start doing it now, no, just yeah. Tell you. yeah, yeah. So Hennessy, what's happening? You what's happening after you leave the jewel shop? Um, I would go find a possible feast party place. Okay, uh, you, well, how do you find it? Well, exactly. What time is it now? On the album? Um, so, Valrak is still kind of playing with the children. So at the time where Kennedy left the shop, it's about, I think it's about 10 p.m. Okay. So Hennessy, how do you how I'd, do you go about? I'd probably go about doing it, saying I'm looking for the nearest place of celebration. So, and you ask around. Uh, a couple of girls that seem to be too busy to actually answer you, and then a couple of stop and and say, "Oh, uh, you're the halfling. Yes, yes." Um, the feast in your honor. Um, it is. It is over here. Come on, join me. And um, the couple of um, elves kind of rush you in um, the middle of this grove, and just in front of the beautifully um, carved temple. Um, told you before, the temple of uh, Elin Snow Mantle is kind of like carved into a tree without actually damaging the tree itself. It is a feat of architecture that even dwarves might be um, impressed by. No, because there's no stone. There's no stone, but the architecture still counts. Uh, Valak, you are... The, um, I forget the name of the guy that you guys saved. If you have any notes on that. I'm just going to say that his name is Matt for the for the purposes now. Matt is going to tell you about the feast in your honor at about the appropriate time which should be starting. What time is the appropriate time? Well, close to what I said, uh, 10 p.m. Yeah. So after a couple of hours of you just telling the children stories, playing with them and so on. Yeah. Um, I, I would go, but if anybody asks me about the feast or when he asks me about about the feast, uh, he doesn't seem too interested in it, which is probably a strange thing to a lot of people thinking a dwarf isn't interested in a feast. Um, he, let's see, he doesn't pick up on it and just continues on um, telling you. 
about where it is and uh, it is in your honor and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alexander, you wait, let's say, a couple of hours and Hennessy doesn't show up. No, I wait to prepare my spells as long as it takes. Yeah, okay, and so... if it reaches midnight, I'll do something else but go to the others first. Alright, so you guys, uh, do you, Varg, do you make your way to the feast? Uh, yes, I still, I still go to the feast, yes. But... You meet, you meet uh, Hennessy there. Um, you guys are sat at a huge, huge table. Table that could sit 100 people. You are sat at the exact like at the head of it one of the heads of it uh, uh your actual names are carved into the uh, wood from which the chairs are made of and you are brought whatever foods that you desire they got meat <laughs> uh, they do not have meat no oh elven food Whatever elven food you so desire. Um, I ask one of them if they would go and take some meat off the dragon and prepare prepare it for me. He, the person you ask, seems to be repulsed by this, and Master Dwarf. Uh, yes. Are you sure you want to eat foul dragon meat? Well, it's nice and fresh, so there's nothing foul about it. And um, I've done it before, and as long as you cook it properly and you're not cooking like the acid sack from it, it should be completely fine. But like, I'm a dwarf. It's like I, I can't, I can't eat grass all the time. And if I turned around and said I was going to eat elven meat, everybody really, really would panic. And don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I don't eat elves. But if that's the only other meat that's around, other than halfling meat, and then I look at energy. I will uh, turn to him. And <laughs> I will turn to him and specifically remind him of what the mage did to the dragons. What did he do to the dragons? Um, he took a dump on them. Oh, we left that one behind. That was the one that was attacking you, and I smashed its head. You didn't shit on the dragons. No, the I, one you left behind was the one that you crushed with the tree. Yeah, but there were two others. Uh, yeah, the one that I smashed smashed with the head was the one that got shit on because that was the last one that we killed, and then the one okay, that I, 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 I crushed with the tree. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely have no shitty dragon. Yeah, uh, well, we still the... have a shitty wizard, but we don't have a shitty dragon. Roll me a <laughs> diplomacy check. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I can do this. Come on, Volak. If you want the dragon meat, go high. If you want the dragon meat, I'm gonna go and get the fucking so. The elf is very reluctant, but nods and says, "I, I will inform the cooks." Okay, uh, and I, I just feel like if, any, if anyone doesn't want to do it, I'll come and do it. But like the last time I tried cutting it, I, I, I can't. I, I use a hammer, not a knife or anything like that, and. I smash things, I don't cook things, so, you know, if someone with a little bit more finesse could could cook the meat, then that's fine. And you don't have to tell anybody what it is, you can just keep it a secret, I'm not bothered, you don't have to announce to everybody what I'm having. He nods said, yes, 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 Master Dwarf, I will, I will try to be as discreet as possible. Excellent. Okay. Um... It gets to about uh, 12 a 12 a midnight. All right. Go on. So I extended mm. what what's up. I want to go find the cleric. Is he at the feast or in his church? He is. Uh, he's at the feast. He is uh, seated close by to your friends. So is. Um, I will wait in his uh, church or in his own building until he comes back. Okay. So you just wait in his church. You just. Sit by yourself as there's a giant party feast thrown in your honor outside, just in front of the building. Well, that's more or less what I'm doing right now, anyway. So yeah, okay. might as well roll play. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's putting. Uh, there's a feast outside of your house right now, thrown in your name. Not a feast. Uh, just some clapping. 
No. <laughs> Not in my name. Well. Team Freshers Week, generally. <laughs> well, um, continuing on with your friends. Um, besides Avaria's seat, everybody seems to be there. Kikiao no. is there, Evan is there. Uh, everybody, everybody but Auralia and Clara and I shadow. Auralia was the god, the the he, head druid, like the leader. Um, okay. And Clara is the little girl. Okay, so anything specific that you're gonna do? Varak, your food arrives. The dragon meat. Uh, is cooked. Uh, the meat itself raises a couple of eyebrows from people that you just hear like um, muffled sounds. It's like dwarf, and, uh, and they they don't really mind it too much. But it tastes it tastes very good. The spices that the elves use are amazing. So besides how you cooked it first time, this this just this is just amazing, amazing. Food. He's not gonna rule, bro. <laughs> Indeed. No, I, I cooked it last time. That was, that was why I had to do that. Like essentially, last time I chopped a bit of dragon off and slapped it in a pan and waited for it to be waited for it to go brown in the middle, and still fucked it up. <laughs> now it's 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 a lot better. Um, so, anything else specific that you, know, you want to talk to somebody? You want to do anything? Um, I other other than. I, basically, basically, the priority is to eat this meat without any interference whatsoever and enjoy it. Try and find something other than wine, and to ask people if there is a quiet place that he can spend the night that's still within the protection of the of the of the of the, of the, of the, of the shield and everything. Um, he looks at uh, Ivan looks at you. Well. I suppose you can always sp you can always spend some time in the library. There shouldn't be anybody there anymore. Mm. Yeah. Uh, are the owls back as well? Does anybody know? I don't think the owls will be back for some time. We we couldn't send word. We left a couple of owl bills outside of the of the shield, but we don't know if they'll actually be able to find it. It's hidden from sight from anybody looking from the outside of the cell. No, no, it, it's fine. Just the owls are quite nice to talk to. I, I, I do hope they are sh safe. They are great allies. If they are, I am sure that you will see them again in your travels. This is, uh, this is far from over. <laughs> and uh, sounds kind of stop. Uh, only the music of some harps and some fruits still go on. Maybe a bit of chattering in the background, but the loud sounds stop. It is Auraria, dressed in complete feast day garb. She wears long, flowing white silks. Her vines that were growing on her body blossomed with every kind of flower you can think of. Her flowing green hair going down to her hips her eyes penetrating as always but calm happy content everybody stares in awe at her as she passes by she is by far the most beautiful creature than anybody has ever seen she sits down and raises a jeweled silver cup of wine and says to this day we have not found heroes worthy of the honors we offer these and he waves at you they have come in a time of need and they have prevailed in saving our people I thank you for that heroes your journey has been long and hard and it will be longer and harder still, for the fight has nearly begun. It is far from over, and the darkness is still powerful. We have won a battle, but the war is still on. But tonight, 
is the time for celebration. For our heroes. And for Terara Night Shadow. And she raises um, her grass up high. And everybody echoes her. Uh, um, everybody echoes her voice saying, For Terara! For our heroes! For Varwag! And you hear for Hennessy! For Alexander! For Syro! You hear all your names kind of uttered. Um, uh, in the whole ruckus that starts. <laughs> I'll, at this point, I'll uh, take my glass and uh, stand on the table and shout, For the elves! And they all kind of cheer at you. Yes! Yes! What are you happening? Uh, it is a very happy day, a very happy feast. Everybody is enjoying themselves. Everybody is having a great time. Uh, Hennessy, anything specific yes. you want to do here? Um, well, I'll probably sample all of the foods and all of the other local delicacies. Well, there are a many dances that are organized and you are invited to many if you do wish to join. Yeah, I'll, da I'll dance. Okay, a um, young, plucky, um, blonde-haired elven girl, pretty short for her, for her, um, for her age, but beautiful nonetheless. A hardness of, ooh, sixteen. She is pretty damn hot, pretty damn hot. And with brushing. She asks you if, if you want to join her for a dance. I will accept that, you know, do a very uh, flourished bow as I uh, accept it. She it's giggles saying. as you do that and uh, offers you her hand. Uh, yeah, he'd take it and head off with her. Okay, head off into, um, into dancing. Valrak to you, Araria looks and says, So, Valrak, we have finally come here. What is here? To this, um, to this feast, to the ending of the threat to our people. And I have you and your friends to thank you. Well, I'll, um, Valrak be pretty blunt about the matter and just say, well, uh, everybody's safe for now, however, I can't promise safety in the future, however, because you're going to help their safety in numbers, so hopefully, 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 hopefully the land will be better off hopefully. Uh, when, we, when, we, when, we, when we join forces. Uh, anything um, you'd like to talk about? That I have neglected to answer until now. Um, I, I kind of need to leave because um, I I need to do stuff. Um, I don't I don't want to appear rude, but uh, we're pressed we're pressed for ta we're pressed for time, and um, I I need to speak to my God because it's been a while. She nods her head. I understand. And um, it appears that you're all out of ale as well. If there had been ale, there would have been a different matter entirely, however. I will see you on the morning. You will indeed, yes. Not so head gracefully at you. If you can just try and keep any drunken elves away from the library, that would be much appreciated because that's uh, it's apparently the quietest place I can go. Her smile goes down a bit as she as you say the library but she nods and says yes i will i will keep them away nobody shall disturb you but please please handle the library with respect the the library is just the location nothing nothing shall be touched i thank you Going home to all the drawers when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, Hennessy, I'd like you to do me a diplomacy check with a bonus five to it. Lovely. Uh, should I add my hotness score or something? No, just do your diplomacy check plus plus five. All right. 
this is going to suck. Yes! Hennessy, your seduction skills are at their best. It does not take you even an hour to seduce this open girl. And she has already propositioned you to visit her in her tent. Lovely. I would, uh, go indulge. Okay, you go and indulge. Now, I need from you two constitution, uh, two fortitude saves. First one for fun, and the second one, more serious one. Alright, so you have a pretty good time. Uh, <laughs> not the most amazing time, we have a pretty good time. It's it's been a long while, so you know it's like it's it's like not eating for a very long time. So like whatever you eat, it's good. It doesn't matter what it's 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 good. It tastes good. And yeah, you you have fun for the rest of the night. You enjoy your night, Alexander. Well, after a couple of hours, uh, Ellen Snowmantle um, enters the church, partly drunk. And he sees you startled at, at you being there, jumping a bit as, you, as she sees you. She says, oh, 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 Alexander, yes, what, what can I help you, my son? We need to talk. Privately. Now. She looks around, there's nobody around. Speak. He sits down. You realize how hard this war is? He nods. And you realize that we should be prepared to do anything we can in our power to stop it? He nods again. I am aware, I am aware. What, where are we going with this? <laughs> where, where, where are we going with this? Upset you, I need a favor. Yes, yes. First yes, of all, me. I assure you that nothing will happen on this location. Nothing will happen inside the hill. Wait. What? What favor? What? What is the favor you need? Tell me. Do you happen to have some fabled elven fighter preserved? And I give the look. Any sort of fighting. Uh, sorry. Um, we Kitiator. Don't you sorry me? We um, we burn our heroes. We give them back to the wind from which they came. No, anything. Absolutely nothing. I, my mind does not remind me on anything. My, my memories are blank. On your request. Like, I like, I know you're lying, and I just live. And he just remains silent for a bit in the room. And then continues on, going somewhere. Uh, and last but not least, Valrak. You make it to the library, just in like 20 minutes. Stumble around finding it, but you do find it. Uh, the dusty old tomes look lonely, and the whole building is deserted of any life. It is a tad cold out inside, more inside than outside. Um, and I, I, I was joking like out of character when I said I'm gonna loot the fucking place, but <laughs> I'm gonna loot the fucking place. No, I'm joking. Um, if it like he thought this woman was a crazy bitch. Um, he would naturally look around just to make sure that this place was safe, and also if there was anything like a fire or anything like that, if it was cold. It appears to be safe, and the fire is not lit. But there is a fire, so I could. There is a, there is a fire place. Yeah, um, I, I would light the fire first. Okay, you light the fire place. It goes. The fire offers warmth for uh, and. Worms the place around a bit. And then uh, I pull the book out that opens to the magic back room where it's got all the magic hammers and shit in it. <laughs> no? Worth a try. Uh, no. 
it's serious time for Balrog. Um, Balrog takes the um, the hand sphere and puts it onto the floor, and he uh, starts doing something that nobody would particularly think that Balrog would do. But he starts praying to Moradin because uh, for people who didn't know, the Crusader is a little bit of a religious class, and the ham- the hammer that's actually quite a revered dwarven artifact. It's not it's not generally something that like. Oh, we've all got hemispheres. It's kind of, you know, it's quite a, a rare thing. Not unique, but rare. And um, starts praying to Moradin. Um, it's not necessarily after a response, but it's kind of, uh, it's been a long time since he checked in with Moradin. And um, explains, you know, that, you know, he's thankful for the aid that he's provided him in, uh, in battle and for assisting him and uh forever, you know, continuing to make him stronger, and um, he, uh, talk, uh, he, he says that he, he hopes his, uh, his dad is okay, up there with, up there with him, and um, he wanted, wants to let Moradin and his father know that um, he's going to return to the Dwarven lands, make sure they're safe, and he's going to carry on his father's footsteps as Dun, 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 a dragon reaver, which uh, I, I know I never said I was going to do this in the middle of a, in the middle of a session, but just to one hundred percent check, you are okay with me doing a hell of a yeah, yeah, we're talking about and, it, and and you're okay with me doing the variant on it to be a dragon reaver, so yeah, yeah we talked about it. Uh, yeah, it seems okay then. If you're yeah. doing the same thing, that's okay. Yeah, because I've I've always had Balrax farther down as a dragon slayer. So I think it's foreseeable that he was a dragon reaver. Awesome. That's and great. He's, he's going to return to the Dwarven land to make sure they're safe and take up his father's mantle as a dragon reaver. Awesome. Okay, and I think that he is the best way to finish this up. Oh, and just for the record, that's not for this level. I did do a Crusader level this level. Next level is what I'm going to do for Hell Reaver. Alright, this this. I think this is going to be end of We Perform the Engineers Week 12. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Uh, it's been an awesome session. Awesome session. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, anything else you guys want to say? What happened to Alex? <laughs> uh, Alex's dad? Um... No, 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 I mean, like, in-game. Like, like oh, Sarah. in-game. He just disappeared. You, you don't know where, you don't know what. As always, he's gonna explain when he comes back. He needs to come up with a. That's the punishment of not attending. You need to have a um, an in-game story of what you actually did. He had to. He had, he had to collect the, the the rainbow drops of the of the dead unicorn. Exactly. And, so and put them uh, and put them back together again, and then wait for the next rainbow. He went to the other side of the rainbow to see if there was yeah, actually he, a pot of gold. Yeah, it wasn't. But the unicorn was there, though, so he came back on the unicorn. <laughs> So, uh, Hennessy, Nick, you want to say anything? Okay. I think I think I think he's wanted to sure. say a lot throughout the entire session. Yeah, actually, uh, I have one thing to say. Yes. Uh, um, shout out to Yellow and Swag. Oh, yeah, okay. you, you guys are never gonna forget that. Oh, uh, just... actually, no, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's actually been an update to Yellow and Swag. Yeah, that we have also added. Um, 420 no scope onto the, the, the shout out as well. Okay, you're doing the shout out from now on because I'm not remembering that one. Yeah, well, no, it's just hashtag YOLO and, and 420. That, that be... I don't do hashtags. Okay. For one thing, they remind me of hash browns and I'm hungry. I like hash browns as well. Awesome. So joining, join us next week on Free for Engineers. Uh, I'm going to be playing some more uh, at the same time Tuesday. I'm hoping there's there's no uh, there's no change in that. But best just check the schedule down. Um, and besides D and D shows, there's not going to be much of streaming uh, this week for me, just because the broken hard drive, so I don't have anything installed. Uh, we are in the works for the Horde of the Dragon Queen campaign, so the new campaign coming up. Uh, we just need to uh, kind of get all the artwork together and um, figure out the schedule, a common like, common point for all of the players. 
to get up and do it. So that's that's coming. Uh, not this week. Maybe next week. Oh, maybe next next week we'll need to start an hour later because I'm on the ten seven at work next Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll, we'll talk about that and I'll add it to the schedule. Um, yeah, I think I think that's that's about it. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that follow button. That's awesome. Besides that, that's just amazing that you guys have been here and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as it with it. So, see you guys next week. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye.